Yeah, Skippy32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Office uh, video number two of the month. Uh, what's going on new? Well, we're getting ready for the uh, battle for the South. Um, uh, Dylan 650 broke just a few minutes ago. I've got another 200 rounds. I got to reload for that thing. Finally figured out it's going to be like more like a 550. We're going to self maneuver the uh, the plate going around. So uh, it's going to take a little while longer, but I will be able to get the ammo. I was really depressed there for a few seconds because um, I, I run a specific ammo for my competition pistols. It's not like you just really go out and buy it. And if you do these days, man, I can't stand the cost of doing that stuff. So with that, we're going to have to figure out how to fix the Dylan down the road. Secondly, uh, my mash sugar still burping, so I doubt we're going to be able to take any moonshine down there because I was planning on running at it. If it does, we could do it on Thursday morning, which is going to be a lot of fun. But what the, what the purpose of this video is, uh, this comes from an article, The Reload. I'm going to put the website down below. Uh, I've confirmed this guy's a good guy, he is on board with the team. And uh, the ruling is millions of NRA members exempt from pistol brace ban. Now, I'm reading it from his site versus the NRA site. You know why? Because I'm a big fan of these guys right here, Firearms Policy Coalition. And I'm a member of those guys. And the reason I'm a member of those guys, they were number one in bringing this thing to court versus the ATF so that we could, oh, I guess, tell the ATF to screw off when it came to our, uh, our braces. Right. So anyway, the ATF can't go after the NRA members over guns with pistol braces on them. Okay, I'm not going to read the whole article. You can do that, but I'm going to read a couple of things. The ATF can go after, uh, can't <laughs> go after NRA members over guns with pistol braces on them. That's the outcome of a preliminary injunction issued by a federal judge on Friday. U.S. District Court Judge Sam A. Lindsay sided with the gun rights group and enjoined the federal agency from enforcing its rule reclassifying the pistol brace equipped guns as SBRs under the 1934 NFA Act. Okay, the decision keeps the NRA members, maybe a few of you guys out there, who own a pistol braced gun from facing six figure fines or imprisonment if they didn't register the guns. And then at the point, ladies and gentlemen, to register your guns. That's all they want. They want you to register your guns so they know exactly what you have, how you have them, where you have them, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, that shit pisses me off. Uh, the last year's deadline. Something most owners didn't do. Uh, compliance with the rule or the final rule is not discretionary. And the NRA members uh, face severe penalties for their failure to comply with the final rule, Judge Lindsay said. Uh, I'm not sure what that means. But accordingly, both of the final requirements for injunctive relief are satisfied because the threatened injury to the NRA's members outweighs the threatened harm to the defendants and the enforcement of the final rule under circumstances will not deserve the public interest. Uh, okay, so what is it? Basically, everybody's jumping on board this thing. This is huge. And it, it is and it's, it basically sending a message to the Biden administration and the DOJ that we're not going to be pushed around. We're not going to be punished. We're not going to be every day. It's, it's a constant fight to figure out who, what, when, where, and why. We need to fight for our rights to, uh, I don't know, observe and practice the second amendment i don't leave the house without a firearm and in certain states they don't want you to be able to do that washington is blown out of their minds we'll do a video on that tomorrow it's absolutely ludicrous unreal uh let's see uh, the ruling is concrete if temporary win for the nra while the group has lost millions of members due to an ongoing corruption scandal which is why GOA and FPC are my go-tos, as well as the uh, Virginia uh, organization. It's unclear exactly how many remain. Those who stuck with the group will now enjoy protection from the long arm of the ATF. Decision to put NRA members under the same legal umbrella employed for members of the Second Amendment Foundation, Firearms Co Policy Coalition, and Gun Owners of America through previous rulings. That's exactly what I talked about. The case stems from the ATF's decision at the urging of President Joe Biden. So here we are, you know, it's perfectly legal for uh, illegal aliens to go ahead and purchase a firearm. They still, I think, they have to go through the 4473 or the Knicks, but uh, yeah, here, let's, let's let millions of people into our country. By the way, we're going to be a third world country in here very soon, so you might as well go ahead and figure out how you're going to protect your family because, well, as they bring their third world country stuff here, 
then we will soon become a third world country. So get ready, ladies and gentlemen. Comment down below if you disagree with me. Or if you agree with me, let me know what the thoughts are. Um, so that's it, man. The uh, ATF has done a really boogered up here thing. They've got a, that's a common firearm that majority of Americans own is an AR-15. They're still trying to do that. Uh, we're we're going to make a comment on that here in the near future. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what your thoughts are down below. Another uh, wonderful victory for the Second Amendment against the ATFs. KB32, if you like the video, please give your thoughts down below. No, wait a minute. KB32, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and hold it down. So support red, white, and blue. God bless America. I with men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom's not free. It's good to be back. It feels good. Y'all be good.